So hello, welcome to dgfia.com. In this video, we are going to learn about Doric and how it can be a great alternative to WordPress. So starting with the intro, Doric is a no-code website building platform which allows you to build high converting landing and sales pages. It's super easy to build websites with Doric as it requires uh, minimal work, minimal implementation. They offer pretty cool features like hosting, free SSL, uh, custom domain forms export codes CMS and uh, uh, blog hosting as well. I Personally like their minimal UI and pricing They offer very affordable pricing as you can see here So now let's talk about how it can be a great alternative to WordPress though WordPress is the largest CMS on the internet But it makes it too traditional isn't it? Most of the SaaS companies don't build their website on WordPress, they look for other alternatives. I myself used WordPress for several, several years uh, and I would say it's quite good and provides you a lot more customization. I'm not against WordPress but the only thing I dislike about WordPress is that I have to be involved uh, very deeply even for smaller things and I was more dependent on the plugins and their uh, whole ecosystem. Uh, which is something I don't like. My reason to switch to Doric from WordPress was very simple that I didn't want to sound traditional and save time as well. So let's get into the dashboard and see how it looks like. So I'm inside the dashboard. As you can see, it's uh, very clean in terms of UI. And the, I would say the only thing I dislike is they don't offer a two-factor authentication here and i hope uh, that they will add this in the near future so here you will see all the projects all the websites you have created if you want to create a new one you can go for new website and they offer a lot more templates which you can use they are pretty good templates so if i uh, have to show you a preview let's say preview this so you can see a very good design a very good ui and UX as well so let's try building a website so if you go for a template it's super easy you just have to change the uh, let's say here text and the button the video and all so I'm going to show you from scratch so click start from scratch okay and the editor is loaded so here you can create more pages like home home is the by default page you can create an about page You can create a let's say contact page you can create as many pages as per your convenience so uh, let's customize the home page so let's try to build something like this so first we have a header so add a new column you have a pre-designed elements here so if you go here and go for navigation with 100% with or without with so let's say yeah. and you can choose any one logo you want let's say uh, I click this you get the low header now you have to edit this so click on this pencil icon you can change the logo from here uh, after that you have links links are these pricing testimonials have features so we have features we have pricing we have testimonials so you can link it to let's say i want to make it about link it to a page the about page which we created and yeah that's it you can make it contact link it to a page contact page let's say create an about page uh, sorry home page link to page home and just drag it up yeah and that's how simple it is you can have buttons let me show you here are those buttons so you can change the button login you can uh, redirect it to a login page once you create a login page you have join us page you have a lot more features like drop down if you want to have a drop down menu you can enable for any of the links you have created and just create a, a drop down link here so I'm going to leave it uh, after that you have link styles uh, what kind of style you want you want to link this in right you want to center it you want to left it 
so let's keep on right you want text you can uh, change the size of the text color of the text you have button styles here you can change the color with these are pretty much self-explanatory so just go and play around it and you will create a uh, wonderful design this is a uh, drop down style you can uh, give a border radius color and everything here is you have a toggle so enable this on a tab devices so uh, let me show you what it is so when you have a tab so you have a toggle button if i switch it off you will get a uh, whole navigation here if i enable this you will get a tag toggle here you can also name it a like menu you can name it if you want and yeah that's the logo is so this is the preview bar you can preview your website in desktop mode this is the tablet mode this is the mobile version so you can optimize your website for um, multiple screens so now let's uh, add a new section and let's go for a uh, build a custom one so let's say i want to add a header here are elements uh, which you can use there are a lot more elements form countdown custom code custom form headers icons and lot lot more so i'm going to use a header and use this to stick to the uh, sidebar so let's say uh, best education platform for learning so i'll copy paste it to so click on this pencil icon to edit it and you just edit it here so yeah and uh, we are going to have an image so add an image here so i have added an image uh, just temporary image and see how it looks like you can uh, center align the image from here you can add a link to the image you can adjust the height and width of the image let's say i want this height is this and you can use a filter any filter if you want you can change the background of the image by using colors gradients or any image if you want so you can play around with these here style section you can uh, give margins and paddings you can have borders you can have a radius box shadow transformation so much things so now let's create this so click a on add new element below and look for subscription form and yeah we got it you can integrate it with api like they have active campaign convert kit and get response lemlist mailchimp and send fox and more otherwise if you if your uh, email service provider is not listed here you can create a webhook uh, zapier or pabli or uh, webhook and connect with your email marketing tool you can customize the success message you can have a field if you want to have first name last name as well you can style the form you want horizontal vertical so you have a lot more customization option here let's say if you want to have a, a button a video and a button so create a new section we want to have a video and a text so to add an element uh, you have a video here so you can just upload a video from your computer or if you want to embed one let's try embedding a video so let's try to embed this video so click on the video uh, click on share and just copy the link get back to your dashboard and just put the video link here and yeah your video is embedded you can try a player configuration video controls mute autoplay if you want to auto play if you want full screen if you don't want a full screen and video height and all you can just customize as per your need let's add a title first so just copy paste it and let's try to add a button here look for a regular button uh, just type the text let's say uh, learn more learn more um, if you want to have it in center and left I'm going to leave it on left button link 
uh, external link if you want to redirect to a, another page or if you want to uh, redirect to a, a login or sign up page so you can select a page from here or if you want to redirect to an external link you can put the link here you can uh, direct whether this link should be open in the same tab or a new tab mm, button background if you want to change the color of the background you can change from here uh, let's say this color if you want to curve your button so you can do some padding you can increase some padding it will make your button bigger if you want to make it more circular so you can go for radius and rounded corner just make it rounder and yeah 30 seems good so you can customize it as per your need so yeah that's how it is let's see what else let's see what else we can do so we have multiple courses here You can try as much as you want you can customize as per your need you have a pre-built templates here a lot of templates here you can uh, categorize in from there if you want a team page just add a team page whatever you want let's say this and just customize it customize the text the heading the text the image the title the designation the uh, social icons let's say uh, you want to add testimonials you can add testimonials from here just put the template down and customize the messages and yeah that's how simple it is now let's try building a footer so you can select the footer option from here uh, yeah here it is footer now select the whatever footer you like let's say this one and just customize it just customize everything upload your logo here change the description here have the menus here link to them let's say uh, we have uh, four menus here windows app mac app linux app and desktop app so just put the link to the page or whatever uh, external link you want to put and your footer will be clickable now uh, let me show you with the social icons how you can customize it so click on it and uh, as you can see facebook twitter linkedin so just facebook if you want just facebook just have facebook if you want google podcast it will be google podcast instagram linkedin messenger so just put the link here of the your facebook let's say if it is facebook to push the just put the facebook uh, profile link or facebook page link and yeah and if you want to open it in a new tab just click on it and here yeah, that's it you can customize the icon as well you want to have branded colors custom colors you want outline or filled this one is nice if you want a circle or a square so circle is good you can have it in center or left whatever you want and yeah that's how you can create a beautiful website and yes it's pretty much self-explanatory you just go and use it and you will be loving it it the best part of this is it requires minimum implementation and it offers you the best pricing so now let's see it in the uh, other screens so preview it so it's more like this if you want to customize it you can do it if it's okay for you then go ahead and it's it looks like pretty decent and you can make it more attractive by uh, editing it let's see in the phone wow great so yeah so now let me talk about a drawback of uh, this so as we have created a button here so as you know uh, we can link it to any page any section a call email pop-up and anything but the issue what i faced is uh, i was not able to make a downloadable button the, like the scenario was i want to create a button which will download a pdf file but this option is not given in doric right now i have talked to their customer support and i have put it in their roadmap so hopefully they will be adding it in the near future okay now let me talk about a pretty good feature pretty cool feature about it which is uh, global symbols 
so let's say you have this header and this footer and you have it in this home page now if you go to about page and you want to create it this scratch you have to create the header and footer from scratch isn't it painful right so let's do the trick go to your home page and just uh, right click on this and say click on save as symbol just name it let's say header and just save it similarly do with uh, footer click on save symbol and just name it so what will happen is when you go to your another page to create it just click add a new section and select section symbol and now you have header and footer just click on it tented and you get the header here similarly you can do it for footer and tented and and in the center you can create the uh, page however you want and the cool thing is whatever edit you do here it will going to reflect all over in your website whether it is on home page or contact page it's going to reflect everywhere so doric automatically saves your uh, progress on the website but somehow if it fails just click on the save button it will save all your edits and this i button is preview button you can click on it and it will preview your website see let's preview the home page And yeah that's how your website looks like okay now let's talk about publishing the website so if you click publish let's first give it a project name so let's say doric intro and there are two options doric subdomain or on a custom domain by default if you are on a free plan you can publish your website on the doric subdomain and if you want to publish in the custom domain you have to upgrade so right now I'm on a paid plan so I can publish on the custom domain as well so uh, here we have to put the domain name let's say dgfear.com and in your DNS record you have to add these two entries so let me show you how to do this so just copy this go to your DNS settings in my case it's Cloudflare so I'll come inside my Cloudflare dashboard click add record create an a record root type at and with the same IP address so as you can see I have this record uh, already existing in my DNS so I'm not going to add it and the second record is uh, CNAME record with triple w host at your domain so I uh, I also have this record so I'm not going to add it anyway so by configuring your DNS record you will be able to publish your website on a custom domain and just click, click publish and the website will be published so to conclude doric is so far the best website builder so to conclude doric is so far the best website builders in the no code category uh, though doric is comparatively newer platform but it offers a lot of cool features at a pretty decent price and it may be a great alternative to wordpress as it requires minimal implementation i'll put a link in the description you can go and try it out just experience how it feels building website with doric and that's it for today hope you have learned something new thanks for watching